You desire to charge as rapidly as on the highway and install as effortlessly as a juice booster, but you solely possess such a power line? That doesn't fit together. However, Geiss now offers a solution for you with the Juice Ultra 2 Battery Highway DC Fast Charging Speed, which comes with a regular industrial plug for convenient charging. The Juice Ultra 2 battery is a DC fast charging station, similar to the ones you know from highways, where you can fully recharge your car within 10 to 20 minutes while taking a break. But what many people don't realize is that these locations require immense amounts of energy. And if you want to set up such a station as a company or site operator, you need an immense power supply. And if your energy provider now says, well, it simply won't work at your location anymore, then you simply have a problem. Juice, we now have a solution for that with this big battery serving as an intermediate storage. Imagine a village well slowly filling up. And when the need arises, when the residents come with their buckets, there is enough energy available. We have installed it at our company with a very simple industrial socket. We will now show you how exactly our Truce Ultra 2 battery is connected to this CE plug. This cable then runs, as you can see here, directly into the device and can be connected there directly as well. Alternatively, you can also plug these connectors directly into the device on the side here. There are options for CEE 2 and 3063 or CEE 125. The current situation involves the rectification of the alternating current by integrated rectifiers, enabling the storage of this current in the battery for the purpose of fast charging our car in a timely manner. And that is precisely what we are currently doing. The battery itself has the capability to provide 150 kilowatts of power, and with our connected 22 kilowatts, this direct current charger adds this power on top of it. This leads to a maximum power output of 172 kilowatts, as can be seen here. Moreover, if we had a stronger connection now, it simply adds on top until we reach a maximum power of 210 kilowatts. Let us proceed to charge the car now. First, we naturally plug the connector into the car, and as is the case at such charging stations, we start at the terminal. I am now here at the company, which means I have my badge here. If you want to use it publicly, you can have it here with a credit card terminal. We have already integrated it into certain apps here, which means it is fully usable in any public charging system. During DC charging, it always takes a little while for the device and the car to exchange info. But then, of course, the charging process starts. And the cool thing about DC charging is that you can see a lot of information here, such as the current charge level of my vehicle, the voltage applied, the current flowing, and also the resulting product, the charging power being supplied. Over time, we will also observe the quantity of recharged energy, and naturally, if you are not charging like I am here at the company with the batch, the resultant charging costs. Speaking of the quantity of energy, you can now see it here in the configuration with a battery. It has such a high amount of energy that it is sufficient to recharge approximately six to seven vehicles. If that is not enough at your current location, you always have the option to install a second battery at a later time if needed. A battery possesses a total capacity of 203 and 30 kilowatt hours. Out of these, 208 kilowatts are net and can be utilized. As a result, it is able to deliver power until it is completely empty. And due to its cell chemistry, being a lithium iron phosphate battery, it is truly very, very durable. However, if the battery should be depleted, it does not mean that the charging process stops. On the contrary, you can continue charging with DC from the connected power grid. Now we have 22 kilowatts here, which means my actual 11 kilowatts AC car can still be charged twice as fast. Whether it's a Tesla Model 3, Opel Corsa E, Kia EV, Jaguar I-Pace or Renault Zoe. All cars with a CCS2 plug can utilize the full charging power at the Juice Ultra 2 battery. The installation of the Juice Ultra 2 battery is also extremely easy. Define the space where it should be positioned. There, the base frame is secured to the ground, the battery unit is positioned on top of the base frame and adjacent to it, the DC charger. Both devices are connected, internet is established, and then you're ready to proceed. 
I mentioned earlier that many underestimate the effort it takes to set up a DC charger like this. And now we have shown that our charger is connected to an industrial plug here. There is a second reason which many individuals also underestimate. The point is that utilizing a conventional DC charger generates exceedingly high peak loads on the grid. And of course, the energy provider charges for this with an increased basic fee. A charger with a power comparable to our Juice Ultra 2 battery can incur an additional six, seven, eight thousand Swiss francs or euros in fees per month. These expenses are completely eliminated with the Juice Ultra 2 battery because it does not generate these peaks, but instead a constant, continuous load. This ensures stability in the network, but most importantly, it saves you from having to pay this monthly fee. By the way, if you have a PV system on your roof, you can of course store your surplus electricity in the battery during the best weather and then charge it into your car at highway speed. My vehicle is completely charged at the moment and if you are interested in the Juice Ultra 2 battery, be sure to visit our website. There is also a contact form. We look forward to your inquiries. Thank you for watching. Until next time and goodbye.